Hello, everyone. Today, I am going to share with you one really good book called Deliberate Fun. If you want to create a good digital product,、uh, it's it's good to have this book and read this book before、uh, designing it because inside this book, it teach、uh, this book teaches us two main points. One,、um, before dive into your digital products, it's good to ask yourself two questions. The first one, who is your target audience? The second one will be, what are their motivations? So first, we are not our customers.、Um, I would say nine out of ten of my cast,、uh, my clients, will say that, oh, my my digital product is designed for everyone. So when you talk about I design for everyone, it means that you design for yourself, right? So it's it, it's very important to define your target audience first. By designing your target audience first, you can first align business and user goals、uh, with your teams, and so the whole team has a better vision for who we are going to design for, right? And the second one is that you can visualize the potential users. Uh, or you will have a human face to develop empathy for the person represented by research and demographics. So, when we create a user personas, what what are the key elements that we should put in? The first one is you need to put a a headshot. Why? Because when we see a picture, a picture with a Wins a thousand words, right? So when we see a picture, we already know.、Uh, probably,、um, I would say eighty percent knows who is this person, and then what types of this person is just by a headshot, right? So a person's headshot, and the second one is a name, right? You need to put a name,、uh, first name, last name, so we can better understand what's. Um, the background of the person is, and age. Different ages, people will act differently. For example, like young kids will act different than the, their parents, right? And gender, female and male. It's like they have, yeah. According to different genders, they will behave differently. And we need to define the geographics. For example. If the person live in the city or in the countryside, right? And another one will be occupation. What does this person do for a living? For example, if he is a doctor, then his income will be different from a person who is,、uh, I would say,、um, I would say,、um, head of like the bartender, right? So. Uh, occupation will define how much money will your user pay for your product, and then also、um, family structure or whether the the person married, single, right? Those will kind of、um, define the person's behavior, and also hobbies. What the person usually do outside of um, his um, you know his job, right? And also, like the quote, the quote means that what will the person like suffer? What's the main point of the person, right? So、um, this person represent what types of demographics. So this will be the quote. And yeah, if you are interested, I will uh, list. Uh, I will put the link of my blog, and、uh, you can take a look of it. If you want to learn more, and I put some of my、um, experience on my blog as well. Also,、um, in the book, the second part is that it kind of、um, uh, give you a really good ideas of sixteen desire that influence a person's motivations. Okay, from、uh, this concept is from Doctor Stephen. Reads, yeah. So, um, so those sixteen motivations or desires will change P 
people's behaviors according their weak weak links or strong links of a certain desire. For example, like first one will be acceptance, whether the person want to be accepted by、um, the society. The second one will be beauty, whether the person cares about the beauty of the things or not. If the person、uh, love Beautiful things. Then maybe your digital product need to be beautiful, right?、Um, yeah. The third one will be curiosity. Whether the person curious about exploring new things or not. For example, if、uh, the person is curious about everything or want to learn more about things, maybe、um, like the app needs to be、uh, constantly update with a lot of new contents. Right, and eating, whether the person love to eat or not. If yes, the、um, your users love eating. Maybe、um, providing food as reward、um, might be a good、um, choice. Right, and family, whether this person is a family oriented or not. If the person is family oriented, maybe. Um, he will less likely to work more or do more because the person wants to spend more time with his family, right? And six, honor. Honor is、uh, more like a drive for respect the rules, respect、um, the kind of the culture, patriotic, right? So if the person view honor as a strong link of his desire. He will likely to love to collect a lot of、um, badges. For example, like a lot of soldiers, they feel proud because they won a lot of badges on their uniform, right? And the number seven,、uh, idealism. Whether this person dream about getting a better world or make a better world. That matters. For example, we can see a lot of、uh, leaders in this world. They are promoting a lot of ideal world, right?、Uh, for example, like people who wants to、um, who want to lead us to kind of space, or who wants to promote、um, like solar energy, and believe we can if we use sustainable energy. To、um, we use sustainable energy, then as a human we can live kind of forever or longer in this planet, right? And so that's idealism.、Um, number eight is independence. It means that whether the person is independent or not, or interdependent, right?、Uh, it will also influence、um, the desire. Of the person, or some features that you might need to put inside your digital part.、Uh, number nine will be order. What's order? Order means that the person like everything organized rather than random or chaotic. So, for example, people who love order love something stable, right? They、uh, love something to kind of stay, you know, the same. So that's order. And number ten, physical activity. Some people love to exercise.、Uh, some people love love to move around their body. Yeah. So if, for example, if some kids they love like hands on, they love moving. If、um, your digital product or your teaching、um, programs integrate with some、um, physical activities, that would draw those types of people. Number eleven, power. Some people desire powers in the、um, kind of society. So、um, they, if you kind of design a product that shows how powerful they are, they might be interested in、um, working on or loving using your product. Number twelve, saving. Lots of people love collecting things, right? For example, like collecting stamps, collecting、uh, some recipes. Collecting some,、uh, you know, some baseball with signatures, you know. So those are savings. So 
if someone who loves saving things, they love collecting points. So maybe frequent flyer programs will be best for them because they love collecting points, right? So those might be a good way to integrate to your uh, digital product. Number 14 is status. Yeah, some people who love status love, uh, you know, to, you know, to feel they are better than other people, right? So for example, like people love, who loves buying good cars, who love wearing branded clothes, they are the person who are more like status. Tranquility, people with tranquility tend to look safe uh, environments. Yeah, so those are people who seeking for safe environment and being peaceful. Vagueness, yeah, those types of people, if you make them angry, they will fight. Yeah, they will fight back. Yeah, so those types of people, for example, in games, if like some players usually like to kill some other players, right? So that's weakness. Another one will be social content. For example, like in multi online multiplayer um, platform, you can see a lot of people, they are defined as socializer, right? They love social uh, in the game. So those people are more social contact. Yeah, so in the book, it also talks about four types of players. One is achiever, the player who have a strong desire to win the game. So those are achiever. The second one is explorer, people who love to explore new things, new areas. So those are people, yeah, like the second types of player. Third types will be socializer, people who love to talk with other players online. So those people who enjoy interact with each other. The fourth one will be killer. They just want to kill all the way. They like to shoot. They like to destroy game object. They want to feel they are powerful and they like to keep killing in the game. So yeah, so I think this book is really helpful if you want to learn how to design a good um, gamification or a digital product to motivate your user. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.